I'd say the first one is to relax. When you're out in the bee yard, uh, the bees will echo your emotions. So if I'm stressed or upset or angry, uh, they will notice that and pick up on it and become agitated themselves. So for me, I have to be calm when I'm out there. I absolutely have to, which is wonderful because then I get to be calm and relaxed around my chilled out little bees. And it's a great way to spend some time in my day. Another thing that I learned is that everything is in its own time. Um, there'll be times when I'm at my desk and I'm so busy and I've got to get a million things done, but it's the right moment to be out with the bees. And for them, it's the same thing. Uh, they're governed by the weather and by natural forces. So um, when it's time to fly, it's time to fly. And there's nothing else that's going to stop them. So for me, when I have to go out and see them, I get to say, sorry, I've got to go, <laughs> got to go see the bees. And it's actually a really wonderful lesson for me. It reminds me that there's a world outside of my window and, uh, and to really just enjoy the seasons and enjoy each, each moment as it passes. Another thing I've learned is really that the bees take everything in their own time. It's really interesting because they, when they are uh, emerged from the cell as an adult, their first job is to clean up their cell and to be little cleaners. And they get to do that for three days. And then after that, they change to an entirely different job. They go uh, and help build the hive or they help be an attendant to the queen. And then they go on and do a different job after another couple of days. They might be a guard to the hive or they might be little bee undertakers. And eventually they will go out and do the last and most dangerous job, which is be a forager out into the world and bring uh, nectar and pollen back to the hive and I reflect on that in my own life and I often want to jump ahead to the end uh, and it, they remind me that there's a process here and that uh, there's a way to be in the world and it's all about each step so I try to be in the moment that way. The last thing that I've learned is really about trusting this big wider world. Um, there's this myth that the queen is in charge of the hive and that she calls all the shots and makes all the decisions, but actually she's really just kind of the egg laying machine. It's all of the bees that collectively make uh, decisions together. It's like a group of, um, like a flock of birds or a school of fish. So oftentimes I get kind of worked up and think that um, each individual decision that I have to make is going to be so critical. Um, but uh, spending time with the bees just reminds me that I might be part of something bigger that's hard for me to see and that there's, there's a, a rightness to it and that I can relax in that a little bit. Mm -hmm.